Hello ninth graders, this is Ms. Natalie, your English teacher for this year. I hope you are doing well, safe and sound, and enjoying your, your vacation. Um, in this tutorial, I will discuss the information or the material included for the first week. Okay. Now, as you all know, in the first two days, we would like to, as teachers, and of course as yourselves, as students, we would like to break the ice. That's why we construct icebreaker um, classes. So the first class and the second class will be assigned for icebreakers. So let's start with the first day as to what icebreaker activities are we going to work on. Now, let's talk, before we talk about the activities, let's discuss the lesson objectives. By the end of the by the end of the lesson, you will be able to engage in interactive introductions to ensure sharing your names, interests, and backgrounds to create a welcoming atmosphere and build connections. I need to know you, and you need to know me. So we are going to share such information. Number two, you'll be able to acknowledge classroom rules and regulations. That's really important. You'll also be able to participate in icebreaker games that we are going to discuss right now where you can share unique facts or experiences, sparking connections and celebrating individuality within the group. Let's, ta let's talk about or highlight some essential key terms that we are going to focus on in this lesson. Introduction, icebreaker activity, networking, team building, warm up, open-ended questions, communication skills, because we're gonna communicate individuality and cultural cultural awareness now you can visit this page on the bc where you are going to find two tutorials one of them talks about the importance of icebreakers as as a lesson and the other talks about multiple techniques uh, that will aid you while introducing yourself of course and this is really important you, where you can actually um, you can watch the video, learn from it, and apply what is needed, if suitable, of course. Now, as for the first icebreaker activity for this lesson, you're going to work on something called color, symbol, and picture. It's a very interesting, I would say, icebreaker activity. You're going to be highly engaged. You're going to work in groups. Um, I will provide you with a quote, an interesting quote, um, and then there are specific instructions in reference to highlighting or circling, giving a symbol, for example, for the for a specific word, drawing a picture for this for this phrase, and so on. We're gonna talk about this activity in details in class. Uh, now, for the second day of this week, which is part two of the icebreakers. Um, of course, you'll be able to participate in icebreaker games where you can share unique facts or experiences, sparkling, sparking connections and celebrating individuality within the group. Uh, you'll also be able to learn about the curriculum and the course outline, that's for sure. Um, and then uh, you'll be able to acknowledge the usage of the BC the Beyond Classroom platform. So aside from working on an icebreaker activity, once we finish, we are going to discuss the curriculum, the material included for the whole year. Uh, you will practice using the BC, which is the Beyond Classroom platform, which is basically this platform, as you can see here. Uh, it's really important because you're gonna find your lessons, uh, your homework, everything that you need. As for the word wall, we discussed it, but we, I added the course outline, the curriculum, and the BC as essential terms. Um, you are going to find aiding, I would say, tutorials about communication skills and so on. Um, the interactive activity for this day will be um, about analyzing uh, a specific picture gallery. I would say it's subject related. I just want to, uh, I want you to examine your own analysis, I would say skills and connection skills as well. 
and we're going to share these ideas. I'm, I'm going to elaborate more uh, on the, I would say, explanation of this um, interactive activity more in class. So let's move on to the third day of this week. Now, for each unit, by the start of each unit, we are going to, of course, introduce it. And I do uh, believe that it is one of the most important lessons that could be given. Um, why? Because you are going to learn about the essential key concept in reference to this unit. Uh, you're going to learn about the essential question that highlights multiple themes covered in this unit and so on, right? So I dedicated two introductory classes for this unit. As for the first introductory classes, making it the third day of this week, as for the main objectives, you'll be able to explore the unit's essential key, key concepts and the essential question, and then generate words and sub-questions based on various interpretations, based on your interpretations of these key concepts and the essential question. As for each essential question uh, assigned for or related to a specific unit, we as readers, as an audience, we need to construct sub-questions that are related to this question to help us understand the themes of the unit. As for the second objective, you will be able to analyze the concept of survival through tutorials, work on, related, uh, on the related activity, and then share your ideas with your peers. Because this unit is about survival. It is titled as survival, right? So everything that we need to tackle or understand should be related to this concept. As for the word wall, uh, we have the concept of survival, the various perspectives and applications in reference um, to different settings. Number two, we have essential key terms and essential question. Number three, survival or survival instincts, the basic elements of survival, we need to acknowledge them. Number four, we have types of survival, physical, emotion, and mental. As for number five, we have soldiers, the literal and metaphorical approaches. Um, now, on the BC, you are going to find two aiding tutorials. Uh, we are going to, for, to work on the first interactive activity that is related um, to the tutorial, tutorial number one. This tutorial is basically a song, talks about soldiers, um, there is no specific, I would say, meaning to the term soldiers as you, as you, as students, of course, you need to interpret or to analyze the meaning behind or the meanings behind the word soldiers in the song. So this interactive activity basically uh, focuses on connecting to reflect or connect to reflect. So um, uh, while listening to the song, consider analyzing it by sorting connection between the content of the song and the essential key terms that are listed above. Uh, write your thoughts and ideas in the form of bullet points. Um, now, after listening to the song, interpret the following question in one long paragraph. So we're going to talk about this interactive activity in details in class. Don't worry. We're going to I'm going to explain it to you. Um, um, so we are going to also watch another tutorial which talks about the basic, how basic human instincts influence individuals' lives. Um, okay, so that is it for this lesson. Let's move on to the fourth day of the week, which is also introductory class, unit number two, but part two. As for the lesson objectives, you will be able to interpret the controversial subject about surviving life's ad adversity and preserving well-being through a tutorial, work in groups on the related hands-on activity that highlights real-life connections and then share your ideas with your peers. Number two, you're gonna, you, are, you will be able to explore the meaning of life, its purposes, challenges, and values through a tutorial 
uh, followed by an interactive activity which includes multiple critical questions from various philosophical categories. As for the word wall, we have again essential key terms and essential question, uh, natural disasters and, effective, and effects of the environment, types of survival, physical, emotional, and mental, life skills, uh, and life and death, a philosophical approach, control, helplessness, and PTSD, which stands for post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, now, of course, for the first tutorial, um, it discusses some simple ways for overcoming adversity. Um, this tutorial is followed by an interactive activity that is related to it, of course, titled Survival uh, Dilemmas, a Battle of Scenarios. Um, so in this interactive activity, you will engage in critical thinking and creative problem solving as you explore two contrasting survival scenarios. You have a sick man with cancer and a soldier on a battlefield. Through thoughtful analysis and teamwork, you will identify key elements that would enable each individual, individual to survive their challenging circumstances. Of course, you're going to work in groups. So scenario one, you have a sick man with cancer, and the this, the, this man's circumstances are that uh, he is battling advanced cancer and is physically weak. He has limited access to medical uh, facilities and medication. He needs to manage pain and maintain a positive mental state. And the resources like food, clean water, and shelter are, uh, are scarce or scarce. Um, now, scenario number two, we have the soldier on the battlefield. The soldier is uh, in a war-torn region with con constant threats and dangers. He needs to navigate the battlefield and avoid enemy detection. He must find sources of food, water, and shelter while remaining hidden. And he sur the survival tactics, adaptability, and mental resilience are crucial. So you need, so I'm going to distribute you into groups, of course, and each group will be assigned one of these scenarios. You need to work on these, um, on constructing a surviving plan for the scenario provided for you, okay? Of course, here you have some key takeaways, uh, instructions that will aid you um, through or during or working on this interactive activity. Um, and of course, tutorial number two talks about people's perceptions about life. You can watch it and work on the activities, uh, critical questions, I would say, in reference to it. Let's move on to the last day of this week, the fifth day. Um, so we are going to start in this lesson, we are going to start with the first text, which is the launch text titled The Cost of Survival. Um, as for the main objectives, you will annotate the launch text titled The Cost of Survival through a tutorial and a list of annotation techniques set in chronological order. So this lesson, you'll be able, I would say, you will learn about uh, specific techniques that will, in, will enable you to annotate properly. And this is very crucial for English as a subject because this is what you are going to be doing for the rest of this year. You need to annotate, you need to know how to annotate. Uh, number two, you'll be able to inspect the notions of risk taking and risk avoiding through a tutorial and multiple critical questions which will aid your reflection on your own individual perspective. As for the word wall, we have units essential key terms, uh, launch text, annotation techniques, risk taking versus uncertainty, the aftermath of dangers and the consequences of rescue. And number five, we have, we have risk takers, low sensation seekers and risk avoiders, high sensation seekers, control and helplessness. Uh, on, the, on the BC, of course, you're going to find the SAVAS um, link to the launch text. You could click on it and it will take you right away to the uh, text. Um, the first tutorial will talk about some, I would say, uh, techniques or tips to how to annotate. And it also defines annotation as a technique or as a method. Um, the first interactive activity titled Annotating Techniques, Enhancing Text Engagement and Comprehension, the launch text. Um, 
uh, while reading the launch text, you will use the annotation techniques that you've learned from the tutorial and from me as a teacher um, below to enhance your understanding of the text and engage with its content more deeply. Um, of course, I set these, um, I would say, uh, ins instructions in chronological order so you won't be confused. Of course, you need to begin by reading the text um, and then you move on to underlining and highlighting. You need to highlight or underline key phrases, important information and main ideas in the text as you, re as you read. Um, you need to write specific notes, brief comments, um, just to highlight <clears throat> your insights, reactions, or questions. If you don't understand something, just underline it. Um, you um, write your note uh, beside it that you do not understand it. You need to go back to it. Um, you need to define, that's really important. You need to write definition or explanations of unfamiliar terms or concepts. Uh, in the texts, you just underline it, you Google it, you t or you try to understand uh, the meaning uh, from the texts itself. Uh, summarize uh, crucial ideas or main points using your own words. Uh, you can just connect ideas by drawing lines and arrows. Um, just write some symbols for things that you, the question marks or exclamation marks. Uh, for the confusing parts in the texts. Um, you compare and contrast, of course. You make notes that highlight similarities and differences between the text and other readings or key concepts. Like if you uh, research other or you use other resources to help you understand the text, you just build this connection and so on. Um, yes. Of course, the second tutorial talks about um, or explains the benefits of, dis of taking risks to better your life, but not in a naive way. We're going to talk about risk takers and risk avoiders and how sometimes risk ta takers, they take it to an extreme where they put their lives and others in danger and so on. We're going to have a discussion. So yes, that is it for this week, which is the first week. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.